Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So, um, if you didn't see in the comment section of my Prestige Master video, I did mention that I would do a full guide. Um, and by full I mean no cuts, just to show everything because I know that if I cut stuff I'm going to get questions about things that I may have accidentally cut out or missed. Um, this may be a long video, I'm not going to go through every single round as I normally would to get XP. Um, I'm just going to be doing the strategy and showing you how to get set up and into the strategy um, so that you can do this and get XP yourself. So if you didn't watch my video, it took me almost six day to, uh, days to get to Prestige Master. I'm currently level 75, uh, don't worry about the XP bar, this happens when you quit uh, games too early. Obviously, I uploaded a video recently showing you how to do the talisman glitch uh, to get that challenge done. I just got that done. Um, so that's why my XP looks like this, but we'll go back to normal when I get in the game. So, yeah. First off, it's on Voyage. I'm doing it on Casual because that's the easiest way to do it. Um, XP between difficulties is very, very minimal. Um, so being on Casual is probably the best way to go because... The weapon you're going to be using to get XP extremely fast, the Kraken, um, one shots with the electric Kraken, one shots almost indefinitely. Uh, my highest round on casual for this map is 101. Um, that I did that when I reached Prestige 4, I believe. Um, I did that in one game, basically, basically one game. Um, doing this strat, you'll reach Prestiges in about two to three games, and they are estimated between five and seven hours per game so you're going to be getting prestiges incredibly fast doing this um showing you my class setup elixirs don't matter you just want these two uh you can use whatever you want you're only going to be using kraken pretty much so nothing else matters um i'm just using the saw because i like them claymores i really like them hammer you know special weapon doesn't matter perks don't matter but bandolier um isn't necessary but you don't need to keep on buying ammo as much so, you know, having more ammo is always nice. Stamina up, get around the map faster. I mean, Kraken, you run very slow with it, so having tonic stamina up is very nice. Uh, I just have time to slip on because I never use anything else, really. I mean, normally I use Mule Kick, but for this strat, you don't need a third weapon. You don't even need a second weapon, so this is irrelevant. Um, every other perk pretty much sucks, except from Stone Cold and Electric Burst, but... They're not necessary, so I'm just I'm just using time slip just to get the Kraken faster, really. Dying Wish, everyone uses Dying Wish. Um, so yeah, this is my setup. If you want to copy this, go ahead. But um, yeah, we're just going to start it up, and I'm going to show you the full setup to getting this done. Now, I recommend you have extra credit, uh, Immolation Liquidation, or the Double Points Elixirs. Um, I don't have any of them because I've done this strategy a lot and I've used all of mine. Um, and I It is double uh, Nebulian Plasma though, so I might get some more during this time. But right now, I don't have any. So I'm stuck on Sword Flay so I can try and get the Bowie Knife faster since we're going to need that. Um, because in casual, the Bowie Knife lasts till about round 13. And that's a lot of points that you can get. So let, let's get into this. Pretty much, the first few rounds is going to be stabbing, uh, because you want to get the Bowie Knife as fast as possible so that you can make use of it for as long as possible. But as soon as we get that Kraken, it's going to be completely irrelevant. Like I said, I'm not going to cut anything else out. Let me uh, lower the volume for these guys. I, I did lower the master volume to 6, so I can hear myself. Um, but, yeah. I should be much louder than the game volume anyway. But, uh, you know, I, I'd like to hear myself. I will turn up my voice and the game voice after this when I actually, you know, edit this video. So, yeah. Alright, so obviously, you know, these rounds, they're going to be slow. That's to be expected. It is casual. But, uh, yeah. It's normally, like, obviously if you have extra credit and stuff, you'd already be opening the map. Um, but if you're going to use extra credit, wait for a double points to drop, because it will double your extra credits. So, just, you know, what I normally do if I have an extra credit is use a temporal gift 
really early on, like as soon as the map starts. And then by the time I get the double points to drop, it'll be temporal, and then I can use extra credit more than once um, during the temporal double points. And then you can also use the double points to get points from zombies also. So you're pretty much going to be stabbing until like round three. But in this case, since I have sword play, I'm going to stab a little bit longer than that. So yeah. Alright. Uh, they are still two stabs on round three on casual, so you can just, you can just like chill out. Oh yeah, I forgot to show my XP. Look, as you can see, it's it's fixed now. It, it this isn't how much XP I need to the next level. Uh, Prestige Master is still not completely fixed. Um, I imagine Treyarch will work on it soon, but yeah, it, it's definitely not twenty five thousand XP left. Uh, that'll go to like negative something odd hundred thousand <laughs> real soon. Trust me, but uh, that's not going to happen for you. Don't worry. Alright, the insta-kill was, was pretty perfect, actually. I don't really need to use the sword play. Uh, probably... Mm, yeah, I might not be able to use it. Might not need to use it. Alright. So, now I have a good chunk of points. Like, a really nice amount. I can start opening up the map. Um, all the way to the Sentinel Artifact is, though, so that's fine. But uh, we're going to need a few more points because we need the bowie knife. The box is here, which is nice. So we know where the box is. We'll come back for that later. Alright. I would use sword flay, but since we're really close to the bowie knife anyway, I'm not going to because I kind of want a temporal double points. Uh, it should take three stabs for these guys. I'm not going to stab them all because that's pretty risky. Alright, not what I wanted, but it was pretty close. Alright, we can actually move on now. So at this point, you should have the bow knife. Uh, if you use extra credit, or you got a double points earlier, or whatever, you'll probably have this before me. Uh, before round four. The earlier, the better, because then you can just get knife kills. All the way till round 13. Which is the most ideal thing to have happen. And yes, my bow knife is diamond. Because uh, you you can do that. It's not officially out though, but eventually it will be. Uh, they have said that they will be adding like camos and such to these weapons. You know, aside from the the ones that we already have. So yeah. All right. Uh, since I have enough points, there's nothing I need to buy right now. I will move on. But um. Yeah, pretty much we're just going to be stabbing now. Alright, nukes we don't want. Uh, I will actually turn the master volume up one more because I feel like the game is really, really quiet for you. And I, I honestly can't tell because uh, this mic isn't really meant for PlayStation, uh, so I don't have like volume sliders or anything. And that's all on Xbox. So uh, yeah, I can't really turn down the game for myself, unfortunately. But uh, I'll, I'll fix all that after I'm done with this anyway. All right, going on to round six now. Hopefully, that's double points. Oh, there we go. There's double points. We're still temporal, which is nice. And we have our Bowie knife. Is my... Oh, yep, look, there it is. Your XP goes to negative when you press each master for some reason. Um, you still level up at the same rate, like the same amount. It's just... I don't actually know how much XP you need per level for a prestige master. Um, but I, I believe it's the same as level 55. Alright, what am I doing? I should have picked this up.
Yeah, the thing with this strat is it could take you a lot of points or it could take you not that many points at all. It all depends on how fast you get the Kraken and if you have fire cells going off. That's why Immolation Liquidation is really nice because um, those fire cells, they're going to come in handy for getting that Kraken. Well, you could get the free Kraken, but I, I just, I've never really done that. I just normally get it from the box. some sick accuracy all right um i will continue to stab until round 13 but now we can get everything like kind of on its way the so uh, obviously since i'm really slow i will buy stamina up first stamina up is always top priority all right there we go so as soon as you do that you just want to move along to the um, the water turn that off you know get the shield part whatever where's the shield part there it is uh, you want to save pack a punch for later like don't activate it so it's not moving around uh, you can activate all but the poop deck one that's normally what I do all right stamina up there we go Alright, be careful of the water zombies too. I imagine if you've played Voyage, you know that they can be pretty deadly, and that's even on casual. Alright. Alright, he did not want to die. Insta kill, okay. It's Kraken time. I also forgot to do the pack punch thing. Alright. May as well get this open. Still got 9,000 points. Got stamina. That's good. Alright. Uh, normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm actually going to go buy a time slip. To, uh, like, get the box faster. Normally I don't even use time slip on this map. Um, I normally use mule kick just for fun, like just level up guns and stuff, you know. Because on casual, your guns are still pretty effective, depending on what it is. Um, so that's normally how I level up my guns. I just go on casual and just, just kill things. Alright, so yeah, right now I'm just running to uh, Zeus. But I'm going the cheaper way. And the way that's closest to the box, because that's what I'm going to be buying. Um... While I'm here, I will activate the Pack-a-Punch pedestal, actually. And, uh... I will not go to the cargo hold just yet. Because we don't have a Kraken yet, so there's no reason to. Okay, zombies are running. Alright, there's another piece of this distilling machine in here. Here it is. Distill kit. Or distillation kit, I think it's called. Cool. Alright, time slip, nice and cheap. I think it's the cheapest perk, actually. I'm pretty sure. Alright, um, I will buy this door too. You don't need to do this yet, but I'm just going to get the shield. Oh god. Oh, okay. Alright, now it's box time. Now this is the part where it's completely down at RNG. If your RNG is good enough, you'll get it quick. If not, you'll get it real late. Okay. CR. Not what I'm looking for. Alright, chill out, zombie. Alright, we, we got cut. Back to where we started. Except now we just have another gun. All right, yeah. Like I said, this is uh, this is probably the most difficult part about the entire strap. All right, uh, we will continue to stab. 
because we can still do that for quite a few more rounds. If there were zombies. I did activate that. Alright. More boxes. An Essex. This is not what I want. Oh, okay. Real nice. Yeah, yeah. like I said, uh, complete RNG here. You could get this first try, or you could get it. Uh, and quite a lot of tries, like right now. Oh. Okay. That's real nice. Alright, um, I think I'm going to just get the cargo hold unlocked, just so I can build the distillation kit. But you don't have to do this until you get the Kraken, if you don't want to. Uh, I mean, sometimes, actually no, the box doesn't go in the actual cargo hold, the box will be here. But yeah, I'm just going to get this open. Alright, final part right here. Drain the water and get the pack punch. Alright. Okay, the box is fairly close. I can still hear the the Kraken thing. As if I'm under the water, but I'm not, so it's kind of weird. Alright, I think the box is right above me. So we're just going to end the round real quick. Continue on. As you can see, my, uh, my XP is taking a poop right now. Taking a shit. I'm just going to put stock option on, just why not? Saves me having a reload, even though I'm not going to be shooting my gun. I don't actually know why I did that. Oh well. Is. We won't really be needing perks yet. Aside from the ones we have, of course. Uh, dying wish isn't needed because we're not going to be dying. I hope. I, I hope I don't just, didn't just jinx myself. Alright, I may as well take this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. Jesus Christ, I'm just getting the same guns. Watch, right, this next one will be an ICR. Okay, well, close enough. Okay, I'm not mad about that. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just getting the same stuff, I swear. Alright, we're still going. I mean, sometimes this strat can take a while, but once it's done, like, it pays off. Also, those are some sick headshots right there. Four headshots. I don't even remember killing people with headshots. Alright, here we go. Alright. That's two boxes. At least now the boxes move, we can actually get random fire cells to drop. If you didn't know, uh, fire sales will not drop unless you have um, the box moved already. So until that box is moved, fire sales will not drop. A fire sale would be nice right now, actually, because I've, I've almost got temporal. Alright, where did it go? 
Oh, wow, okay. Uh, since I got time slip... Oh, wait, actually, no, that's, that's tonic time slip. It should stay there long enough for me to temporal, I hope. If not, then I'll just pick it up. Yeah, I don't think it's going to. Yeah, it's not going to, okay. You're running, but they're not. Oh, now they're running. Oh, yep, there they go. I'm just going to kill these two. Alright, monkeys, you don't really need these guys, but I'll take them anyway. Luckily, I can get more pulls out of this. I'm just getting the same stuff, I swear. Alright, well, this is new, but not really what I want. Alright, the box is above me. Which is perfect, because I can get that. Hades. There we go. Alright, Kraken. I'm going the wrong way. Alright, we don't want that. We don't want purity, so I'm not going to take it, actually. Alright, next next stop is to pap the Kraken. And then... Um, distill it. Or get your perks first. You can do either one. Doesn't matter. Since the Kraken will kill for a long while. So, yeah. But I, I will pap it first, just to, just to get this strat going. So, we're only on round 11. Um... And the bowie knife is still effective, and we ain't even... Like, we've all, we're already almost done with the strat. And the bowie knife is still effective. Alright. I'm waiting for the electric dude to come along. That's, that's the guy we need. Alright, double points. So I probably should have tempered all that, but... Whatever. It's okay. It's not too big of a deal. I got points for PAP, so that's fine. Now you can PAP and use your other gun, whatever it may be. It's completely fine. It will last a long while. But uh, it's not... You know, you know, you don't have to do it. So now we're going to get Pack-a-Punch. Alright, there we go. Now the, um, the, the, the Stoker should be arriving this round. Maybe even a Blightfather, but they ain't going to be a problem for us anymore. Because we now have the Papped Kraken. Oh, yeah, I think I just heard him. Alright, so, okay, you should die in one shot. Alright. Was that two shots, three shots, whatever. This is actually still effective, so I don't need to uh, really waste ammo. Even though it's not going to matter, because we're going to have unlimited ammo real soon. Temporal all this because why not it doesn't really matter the bow knife will still be effective but oh well all right well we're almost at 6k already but uh, i still need the electric hand all right now um there are actually, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but there are actually two places that you can do this strategy in. One of them is right here in these corridors. This is the faster but more risky strat. It just means that the zombies will get to you faster. They're more, like, bunched up so that you kill them faster and they're easier to kill. But it's also much more riskier because it's very easy to die there. Um, you probably won't die there. I, I've... I've gone to extremely high rounds just going through those corridors endlessly um, because it's on casual but there is a chance you, you might die in these corridors because it, it gets real tight especially with the blight fathers and even on casual they still destroy you so yeah 
Uh, but the other one is literally just above us. Uh, outside here. You just, you just walk around this area here. That's it. And you just keep on shooting. And then you pick up another Radiance Hand and you just go get ammo. That is it. Pretty nice and easy. So if an electric dude spawned, we can actually get the show on the road. I still will need my perks though because having more ammo is nice and having a free down is nice. Alright, still haven't leveled up yet. This is still going up. Got six headshots. This, this is what I mean. This is why I had literally no headshots uh, during my prestiges. This is why my kills to headshot ratio was so low. Like, I may have six headshots till the end of this. Who knows? Alright. Since this guy's here, we'll start shooting. Uh, if you want to continue stabbing on this round, you can. Like, it's a two-stab, so it's not too bad. But I, I don't recommend it, just in case. You can easily get cornered. Max ammo, not necessary, but I'll take it. Now, I could technically use Sword Flay and actually just keep on stabbing, but I'm not going to do that. Alright, round 15, we still don't have an electric guy. Uh, it'd be real nice if he could come up soon. Also, as you can see, I haven't even used my special weapon yet. We won't be needing to use that. Um... But it can be nice to take down a Blight Father, since the Electric Kraken is not exactly the best at taking down bosses, but it will one-shot the zombies almost indefinitely. So there's that. But you can always just throw a monkey in and just, just shoot him to death, you know. He'll go after the monkey, not you, so... That's all good if you have the, uh, the, the little homoculus things. I don't know what his name is. Oh, speaking of... I don't know what that shot was. Oh, all that one. They're just going off into the abyss. Alright. That's a nuke. We don't want that. Uh, okay. That's another nuke. We don't want that. Alright, round 16. Still don't have an electric zombie. What is going on it? Where are my electric zombies at? Alright, it'd be nice if one of these, well, transform, but not into the right thing. Oh, here we go. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh, he drops one, of course. Alright, I, I might have to just take this because I'm going to run out of ammo soon. If I don't get an electric guy... Uh, and yeah. If you couldn't already tell, this part is another RNG part. You know, first it was getting the Kraken and now it's getting the uh, part for the Kraken. This normally doesn't take this long, but apparently it is this time. Uh, quickly before we move on to another round to try and get another electric zombie, I will actually uh, quickly go buy my perks, because then I don't have to afterwards. I can just get straight into the strat. Where am I going? All right. Dying wish. Damn, that's rough. Ugh. In all honesty, 
Alright, so now we have Tonic Slamming up. We're really fast. Um, be really easy to get out of corners now and whatever. Got more ammo. Uh, got a free down. You know, you're set at this point. The last and final thing we need is our electric kraken. And then we're, then we're done. That's it. Uh, what I'm actually going to do, uh, when I finish the setup guide here, real quick, because uh, we're almost done, and uh, I'll, I'll do a couple rounds in this take, showing you, you know, what this strap can really do, and then afterwards I will show pre-recorded gameplay, uh, when I was actually going through my prestiges, so, um, yeah. Oh look, we've, we've already got a level. 17 rounds in, but we're not even in the strat yet. Already got a level. Also, my level is still like completely bugged out, but you know. It'd be really nice if I could get an electric zombie now. Alright, well, what's going on here? I don't think it's ever taken this long. I may have to go get the ice uh, weapon. If I don't get ammo soon. I mean, at this point, you, your points don't really matter. So you can go pap your uh, other guns if you really want to. But I'm, I'm not going to. I don't, I don't need to. You know, I'm only going to be using the Kraken anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Alright, hopefully this round we actually do finally get an electric zombie. Because that'd be really nice. It'd be really nice if that can happen. Alright, that is not what I'm looking for. Alright, we already got a bite farther. That's fine, no, he's, he'll be dead real soon. I'm actually running out of ammo. I, I may run out of ammo. This is a first. I'm, I'm supposed to already have the electric weapon. Watch, I'll, I'll go make the ice one. And then, then I'll get the electric one right after. Here we go. Gonna go make the ice one. Then I'll get the electric one straight after. Alright. There we go. I mean, technically you can do the strap with any of the, uh, the weapons. It's just the electric one will kill them in one hit. Almost indefinitely, like I've said like three or four times now. But the other ones won't. Oh, wow, okay. That's, that's real nice of you. Oh, and here it goes. It was... It's just one of those things. Alright. And there we go. Fully set up. That's it. That's all you need. Now you can just farm XP to your heart's content. It does not take long to do... Well, I mean, I, I guess it takes long to do. But you're going to be getting prestiges in about two to three games, depending on how long you go for. I mean, if you just go all the way, because it's, it's literally impossible to die. Like, the only times, um, like that 101 game, my highest round on this map, I, I quit that game. I, I got bored. You know, that, that was only a six hour game too. 101, six hours, and I pretty much got a full prestige in that game. Like, you're going to be, you're going to be earning prestiges really fast. So, uh, I'm just going to do a couple games, or a couple rounds here, just to show you, uh, you know, the strat. In motion and then I'll show some old gameplay when I was actually getting my prestiges of me doing this strat so uh yeah that's pretty much it from me guys it's just gonna be gameplay from now on so uh 
thanks for watching uh hopefully you stick around to see the full extent of what this track can can offer um so yeah adios Uh, so yeah, there was a cut there. The reason why I had to cut the gameplay um, that I was about to show you from before is because uh, I left my mic on and because of that you could still hear my PS4 just growling in the background. Um, and it was actually pretty overpowering. Um, and at some parts it just got really annoying. And I didn't want that just sitting in the background of, of just like gameplay that was supposed to just be gameplay. So um... I actually got some footage here from my round 101 game. Uh, the reason why the actual gameplay for the strat isn't so entirely long is because when I saw how long it took me to get the strat set up and the guide actually done, um, th this was like half an hour. It took like half an hour. And I didn't want the video to be too incredibly long. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to show like a roughly 11 minutes of the 101 game. Um, it's just going to be like three rounds. It's just the end of 94, as you saw there. It's going to be the whole of 95 and some of 96, and then it will be some of 100, and then me quitting on 101. Like I said, I got bored. Um, and I actually just realized that the 101 game wasn't even six hours long, and I almost prestige in that entire game. So you can just see what this strat can do like it's xp mayhem that's how i was able to get to prestige master so quickly and i'm hoping this gets you to prestige master super quickly as well um so yep like i said thanks for watching uh this, this is just going to be gameplay now uh, the reason why i'm using the fire kraken is because uh at this round the blight fathers get a bit tedious to kill with the electric one so i just switched to the fire one because as you can see it's still quite effective and uh, it, it will make crawlers sometimes, but not not very often, so it's still really good. But it kills bosses incredibly fast, so that's why I was using it. So, um, yeah. I've seen this sort of else? Wasn't attractive then, and it sure as shit ain't now.
misery. creature. 